welcome back to another video and today we're back to another Premier League match day vlog where we play Aston Villa away. If there was ever a must win for us, it's definitely today. Going away to Villa is going to be a difficult game, but we're sitting five points behind them outside of that top four. Although we got that game in hand, we're still a little bit off of it where we definitely, definitely need to pick up the three points today. We're coming into this game off the back of a high where we beat Crystal Palace last week in that comeback. We scored three pretty close goals towards the end and that second half, we played some really good football. So hopefully more of that today. Aston Villa are still in Europe though, so they played Ajax where they drew on Thursday and we know how much Unai Emery values them European competitions. He played a very strong squad so we're hoping for some tired legs today going into this game. Although Aston Villa played only three days ago they may have some tired legs but what Unai Emery has built with that club in the past couple of seasons has been very impressive. A very solid foundation and a hard working team which we need to look out for today. The main player is Ollie Watkins which I've been really impressed with. The amount of goals and assists he's got this season so they're a solid team we need to watch out for all of them and for our side I think Richarlison could still be out so Young Min Sun could come in at that striker position hoping to get back-to-back -back goals. So I'm going to say confident today. I'm not sure we're going to keep a clean sheet, but if we can get three points, that is the most important thing. I am going to go for a 3-2 score prediction. If you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe and post notifications, and let's head up to Villa Park to get these three points. Got my new spurs. We're inside Villa Park, the teams are now out. And looking at our side, there's a few changes since the Crystal Palace game. Pape Sar comes back into the starting 11, where he's sitting next to Basuma. So I'm looking forward to seeing that duo today. And Pedro Poro is also back from injury. So he steps in for Emerson Morales' position. Definitely more skill, a bit more quality. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. And Werner's on the bench today, but what I'm happy about is Sonny is in that number nine position, going down the middle. So hopefully Madison, Kulazewski and Brennan Johnson can feed them balls through to him and can get a good start and get an early goal. Because it feels like it's been forever since we've had a good start. But Aston Villa have a good squad. It's going to be a really tough game today. Ollie Watkins is starting. They've got a good attacking threat with Leon Bailey, who's also on good form. Strong midfield, strong defence. So it's going to be a very, very tough game today. But I'm going to stay confident. And fingers crossed we can get these three points. If we lose, they're going to be eight points on top of us. Come on, you Spurs. And that is how you know it's a big game. Come on. Right guys, half time at Villa Park, going into the break, nil-nil, same as it was against Crystal Palace. We've had a lot of the ball in the first half, but we're just really struggling to get that final ball forward and convert any real chances. And that's where substitutions probably come in in the second half. It's not too late to turn this game round. Villa are actually sitting quite deep, deeper than I thought, which is inviting the pressure, but we're still struggling to break down that back line. So it's like five of them bit in a very solid line in there and that's where maybe we could bring on Ben Spur and Werner to break that down a little bit some fresh legs in this second half but yeah something something definitely needs to change because Aston Villa are very good going forwards I know Ollie Watkins has had a couple chances that he's pit wide but if he gets a few more in this second half he's going to be more than happy to put them in the back of the net but it's been quite an aggressive first half a lot of players are on warning so we need to be careful that we don't pick up any yellow or red cards because that could really put us out for the next few games I'm going to stay confident. I can imagine Bernard's going to come on a little bit of pace out of the wing, but we'll see what Ange does. I'm going to stay confident. Three points. Please, Tottenham. Come on, Spurs. We have a downer coming out in the second half. Mickey van der Ben's gone down and taking him off Dragasin on. So Dragasin Romero at the back. Let's hope that's solid enough. Oh, we need to keep holding this now. 
Oh, hang on, look on. Sonny, picky beside. Brennan Johnson! Like I said at half time, it was an aggressive game, and these challenges just continue. And that sees John McGinn get a red card. They're 2 0 down and down to 10. So we're only going to kick off from here. Then you get a Time for Sonny to get The Kulazeski! Oh! Oh! Pull it back! Sonny! Yeah! Yeah! Just make that! Come on! Let's go! What an ending!